seriously, what is Hashtagacon? Bro, it's the biggest social media convention ever. Yeah, man, Hashtagacon. Everyone's gonna be there. So is that like a thing? Let's do it! Yeah. 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 We're all gonna be on the same flight. Are you ready, man? What? Do we have to fly? Ah, the comedic prowess of Logan Paul. Truly a master of his craft. And he's not alone. This movie has perhaps the most star-infested cast I'll ever have to suffer through. I can't contain my excitement. Enjoy this interview of Logan Paul explaining how he got all these social media stars in his comedy, Airplane Mode. I sat them down separately, and I was like, hey, this is my thing. Like, as a friend, would you want to do this? Just read the script. Tell me what you think, whatever. The script spoke for itself. Luckily, <clears throat> the script is great. I sleep with my eyes open. <laughs> Uh, hello? <clears throat> the script is great. You can't hear my thoughts. Yes, I can, Bruce. Uh, stop it. <clears throat> the script is great. I think it's safe to say that your baby's gone. This was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Believe it or not, the script's terrible. And here's the plot to prove it. Logan Paul and a bunch of equally unfunny narcissistic influencers board a plane to go to Hashtagacon, which is a sort of social media equivalent to Comic-Con, I guess. Everything's fine and dandy until the pilots tell the passengers to switch their phones to airplane mode. You see, the joke here is that all these social media stars are too obsessed with their phones to actually switch them to airplane mode. And so, naturally, the plane's pilot controls combust, killing the pilots. This ushers in the second act low point. Logan Paul and his pal go and investigate and find the pilots dead. And oh yeah, this is actually the part where Logan Paul sort of breaks character for a moment because he's upset when his friend takes a picture of a dead body. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Anyway, the plane's going down and it's up to all the influencers to save the day. The movie has been god awful up to this point, but this is where it becomes unadulterated trash. All of the influencers get their little side stories where they attempt to be funny. We get to see Vitaly harass some flight attendants. We get to see Nick Swardson steal a baby. We get to see King Batch act like a Looney Tunes character. It's terrible. Finally, Logan Paul learns how to land the plane through a YouTube tutorial video. And he lands the plane. Everyone's happy, because Logan Paul saved the day. The end. Oh wait, actually I almost forgot something. After landing the plane, Logan Paul confesses his love to his love interest of the movie and they decide to be together. Almost forgot about that. That's okay, so did the movie. Alright, listen, I don't want to come across as some cynical 17-year-old know-it-all kid who got a camera and decided he was better than some filmmakers, and I also understand that humor is subjective. And so I've decided to prove this movie is garbage scientifically. I have with me two airplanes, each of which representing a different movie. This one representing airplane mode and the other representing a movie that Airplane Mode shamelessly ripped off, Airplane. Now pay close attention to this scientific demonstration. The rules are simple. The amount of which the movie is actually funny will be measured by how far the respective cardboard airplane flies when thrown. As of right now, the airplanes are identical. We will now begin to add changes based on the choices made by the filmmakers to more accurately reflect their attempts at humor. For every obnoxious social media star forced in the movie, a rock is added. For every scene where the punchline is someone screaming, a chunk of cardboard is cut out. For every moment an average viewer would regret watching the movie in the first place, a cup of water is poured. And finally, for every failed joke, a stomp is administered. Now we shall see which airplane flies better. 
First, Logan Paul's Airplane Mode. And next, the actual comedy, Leslie Nielsen's Airplane. As you can see, Airplane is a funny movie because it's a vehicle for witty people to write funny scenes. Airplane Mode, on the other hand, is a vehicle for Logan Paul and his friends to screech into a camera. This concludes my empirical demonstration. So, as demonstrated, Airplane Mode is humorless, but it is not victimless. For that, it deserves a sentencing. One count of the most obnoxious opening title sequence I have ever been subjected to. Four counts of the word hashtagicon being said. Fourteen counts of selfie taking. I'm not even going to pretend to know who this kid is, but he voice cracks 12 times in this movie, so 12 counts of this kid voice cracking. 19 counts of outstanding airplane CGI. 4 counts of Logan Paul cry screaming. And you know what? 22 counts of incessant screaming in general. Actually, you know what? This whole movie is just kind of one big incessant screech, so one count of incessant screaming. With that, I sent its airplane mode to be flung into a GE9 Boeing 77X turbine engine where it will meet its deserved end to the sharp blades of justice. Don't watch this movie. The script is great.